I was born in a Christian family in Ethiopia, which gave me firm foundations for my life. There is a lot of diversity in Ethiopia, even between people of the same color and nationality, because people belong to different tribes and there are sometimes difficulties between tribes. There is also religious tension between the Orthodox, Catholic and Protestant churches. I grew up in an Orthodox family, but I had no relationship with Jesus. But when I was a teenager, someone explained the gospel to me, and I was born again along with my two sisters. When the Orthodox leaders heard about this, they were very angry and we even faced persecution from our parents. So, my sister and I had to leave home and move to another town where we stayed with a Protestant pastor. He would have rocks thrown at his house by people from the Orthodox Church. And when we walked to church, they would throw rocks at us. It got so bad that the army had to come to take us out of there to somewhere safe. I thank God that he protected us at this time. After Alamnesh and I were married and had had our daughter, God led us to live in the UK. I came over first and generally people were quite welcoming, but I did have trouble finding a job because my work experience and education and training were not in the UK. But the battle is the Lord's. He is faithful and always gives us power and faith to overcome difficulties. When I joined the Tamra in the UK, it was really a culture shock for me in many ways. I was at home alone with our daughter and a newborn baby. I didn't know anyone and couldn't speak English. It was a very dark and lonely time, even worse than being persecuted in Ethiopia. Then I was invited to go to Fantots, the mothers and toddlers group at King's. It was amazing how I was accepted and loved and looked after. I met Diane and Norman, and their family became like our family. They would listen to what I was going through. They would take me to the shops and take us out for meals. It was the blessing of God to us that he brought this family into our life and leads us to King's. I knew King's was the right place from the start. It was like the United Nations led by Christ. It was wonderful to see black and white joined in harmony and love. There is an Ethiopian church in London, but we didn't want to go there because God called us here. He called us to High Wycombe and he called us to King's where we could worship with different people and a mix of cultures. Even though there are many cultural differences, we felt like God had led us home. Our dream for kings would be to see a breakthrough of kingdom culture among all the different cultures, drawing together in prayer and holiness. Jesus died for everyone, and his heart is to welcome everyone without barriers. Everyone is invited.